you're using GarageBand on Mac and you want to send a copy of your project to and collaborate with another GarageBand for Mac user. How does that work? Let's dive in. Airdrop, it's quick and easy, but this method comes with a but, and it is a big but. Both your Mac and your collaborator's Mac need to be in close proximity for Airdrop to work. And by close proximity, I mean in the same room together. That might not sound particularly useful to some of you, but if you're able to quickly meet up with someone at school, college, or even for five minutes in the park or something, Airdrop makes sharing any files really easy. First off, you'll want to find your project file. You can use Spotlight to search for the file by name, or you can find the GarageBand folder in Finder's music tab. When you've got it, right or control click on it. Hover over Share and select Airdrop. Make sure your Mac wielding collaborator has Bluetooth turned on and when their machine shows up in the list, click on it. Once done, the file will be available on their machine and they can edit it as they wish. Collaborating with other GarageBand users feels great. Almost as great as I feel every time someone hits the like button on my videos. So take a second to share those good vibrations and show me some thumb love down below. Falling in love. If your GarageBand collaborator is further afield, you have a couple of options open to you. Some folks like to use email to send projects, but restrictive file size limits and compatibility issues make it an unreliable solution for me. Instead, my advice is to use a file sharing service like Dropbox or Google Drive to share your project. Both of these services give you enough storage for free to add and share your GarageBand project file. I'll use Dropbox for the purposes of this video. No, they're not sponsoring this video or anything like that. I just like Dropbox's straightforward and easy to use interface. First off, you'll need a Dropbox account, obviously. If you don't already have one, go and sign up. I'll put a link down in the description below. Once you're set up and can log into your account, navigate to the All Files tab on the left here. Then double click on the Public folder to open it. Find your project file on your Mac as before, but this time right or control click on the file and select the Compress option from the menu. This will create a zip file that still retains all of the data in your project file, but reduces the file size. Next, you can simply drag and drop the file into your open public folder in Dropbox, or you can use the upload button to manually select the file from your Mac. This can take a wee while depending on the size of your file and the speed of your internet connection. Once the file is uploaded, hover over it and click on the link icon that appears on the right side of the screen and copy the link when prompted. You can now send this link to the person that you want to collaborate with and when they open it in their web browser, they'll come to a screen that looks like this. If they then click on the three dots on the right of the screen and select download, the project file will be downloaded, and once done, they can click on the zip file to extract the project file and get straight to work. One important note to remember here is that you both need to be running the same version of GarageBand in order to collaborate in this way. Projects created using a newer version than the one your collaborator has installed just won't work. And that's how you can share a GarageBand project from one Mac to another Mac. If you want to know how to share projects from iOS to Mac, then click right here. Take care of yourself. See you next time. Bye for now.